Skibidi Toilet 73 Part 1 Analysis. Now, welcome back to another one, y'all. Man, I love me some Elite Cameraman. Every time we doing his videos, it's a great day. It's a great day. Anyway, we got Elite Cameraman. There's not really much to talk about. I lied. There is something to talk about. If you guys don't know, I created my own series. Now, listen, y'all. Go check it out. Skibidi Containment Breach. Uh, right here, here, go to channel. Link is in the description in my community tab. We just posted a new leak for the next episode coming out soon. If you haven't checked it out, Go ahead, check it out. We just hit 10K subs. So uh, thank you guys for all the support once again. But make sure y'all check that out, bro. Seriously, check that out. Check that out. Check that out. But uh, I feel like I'm trying to sell my mixtape, bro. This is awful. All right, let's, <laughs> let's watch the video. Hello, everyone. Elite Cameraman here. Episode 73, part one just came out. Yes, sir. And it truly was a shock. Look at her. She got the got some scenes I don't think anyone expected <laughs> to see. For a second, I really couldn't believe what was happening. Don't lie. It's crazy. Because the lore dump they had camera was probably the biggest up. ever in the series. And it seems like it is just starting until episode. I ain't gonna lie. I will say this. I ain't even trying to get nobody in trouble. But if you was in the live event with me, Verlance, Dom, Chasing Skyler, uh, Spider Run, uh, we had Orion in there, uh, you would know that. We already had said that the episode was going to drop on that day. We announced it. So if you was in a live event, you knew already that the episode was going to drop soon. Seven. Even before the premiere, too. 70 Part 2, we were very clueless about the nature of this world. But ever since we learned the backstory of the secret agent, more and more info has been coming to the surface. What we saw today was a turning point because it answered one of the biggest questions people had until now. What was a that? A question even bigger than the true nature of Secret Agent and who he is. And this changes everything we knew about the origins of both Skibidi Toilets and the hardware heads. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. I feel like we're in for a lot of lore for this summer. <laughs> even though the biggest question was answered, it brought up even more questions with it, which we'll talk about. But before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to not miss the future videos. Anyways, here we go. The episode starts with us seeing the POV of Camera Woman in episode 70, part three, mm -hmm. right when Dark Speaker. I don't even want to. I don't even want to do too much right now, bro. I'm not trying. And it's exactly when Plunger you know what I'm Cameraman looked at his Look at my boy Plunger. I don't, the mint I don't like to see my boy Plunger in this condition. I don't know if this matters, but we can actually see his lens protector broken and fallen off. Maybe, but maybe this was intentional to show us that the lens protectors block the cameraman from seeing secret agents goons. And another question is. If the lens protector was still on, could the mint cameraman use the mind teleporting thingy they did to plunger cameraman? Mm. These questions probably don't matter compared to what we witnessed later in the episode, but they still might a good become question. important later on yeah. if they are true. After this, we see the camera woman trying. I need to try pause too woman, much, but speaker woman, you know, it's a long video. Grief for her friend, or maybe even her partner. We yeah, don't they really know was... the relationship most alliance members nah, have. But after that. this episode. It is clear that they were much closer. I will say this is super random, but who is that kid in Dom Studio Secret Scene, bro? Who kid is that, bro? And we thought got to be a kid of a fallen soldier. After Speaker Woman pushes Camera Woman off, we see Plunger Cameraman start burning out of nowhere. And I'm going to be honest, we still start have no burning. idea what exactly caused yeah. this. But something happens, and the footage strangely freezes for a split second, and it starts rolling back. This was the first time in the whole series where we got to see a flashback. Yeah, and in these the flashbacks are crazy. Series, it actually makes sense, and we are still watching it from the POV camera woman watching from his tablet, as we'll see later in the video. First, we see the footage of episode 57, where Plunger Cameraman almost died and was once again split in half, just like a Kit Kat. Yep. Bro just likes getting split in half, I guess. And camera woman might be saying to herself that he'll survive once again. But after this, we start going way back. The next way scene is back. from episode 52. Way where we back. Were first introduced Before half of y'all was even subscribed to me. Two like, real the first way back. Time. Most of you probably were not watching me at that point. But episode 52. I was about 52, to say, yeah. I was about to say, they wasn't watching. None of us. Like, this is probably before or right around the time I was hitting like 100K, which is so crazy to say that, like looking back on it. Analysis was one of my first analysis videos to get popular. And I remember guessing that the camera woman and plunger cameraman duo seemed like they already knew each other beforehand. And it looks like this theory was now confirmed. The next scene we see is actually from way back, even before I started making analysis videos. Yeah. Even though it is a flashback, it is new yeah, footage because like, back bro, then the series. Way back. Like I'm talking like, do y'all see my room? Like a lot of y'all don't really appreciate this, but my room has come such a long way from like if you watch my videos last year like when i first started reacting to skibby toilet to right now 
the room just looks so different, bro. It's been such a long time, and I'm super grateful to be part of the community, bro. It's awesome. Awesome. The series actually was only in short format, and I don't think this is a scene we saw before. My assumption is that it's a scene that happened between episode 37 and 38, from looking at the environment yeah, the and zombie, the, the Titan This is when the Parasites man. was first popular. The good old days when our only worry was saving Titan Speaker Man from the Parasite Toilet. Yeah. And you can also see that Plunger Cameraman actually had a red tie here instead of a black one, clearly confirming that he changed his tie color. After this, we actually see the first version of Titan Cameraman getting upgraded. Yeah, and I do man, wonder look if at they that upgraded boy. his sword, just like Titan TV Man had his quote-unquote sword upgraded. Here we also see Plunger Cameraman with one leg missing, and it most likely might have happened from what the next flashback showed, because I went through all the shorts, and there were no indications for an event like this. But the next scene actually starts with something crazy. We see my eternal enemy, the simp cameraman, sitting on a toilet yeah. looking at a particular picture that I need to steal. It is insane Yo, chill that Rose started simping before he was even saved by TV woman in episode 49. You always like that girl, man. cameraman looking at the picture with him admiring my beloved TV that woman. That boy's probably gone. Just you wait, simp cameraman. I'ma steal that frame one day. I do wonder when he'll actually be returning, though. He really has been gone for a while. Also in the back, we see a scientist cameraman with a large cameraman cleaning up the place, while plunger cameraman is standing in the middle of the street, with the lucky cameraman staring at him. But suddenly something happens and a rocket toilet appears out of nowhere, leaving our quote-unquote lucky cameraman running for his life just like always. Yeah. And the scene pauses right before the impact, which most likely means plunger cameraman uh, lost, just where he's his lost his legs his from this. And yeah. was used to losing legs. And if you look at the right side when the footage freezes, we can see the large cameraman doing the Miles Morales shocked face. Even with all this... The craziest flashback ever, and one of the biggest reveals happens right after this scene. But before I get into it, I need to tell you about the elite cameraman plushie. Uh -oh. I'll keep it short, but I basically see. started a petition to bring this elite cameraman plushie concept to life. And if we can get oh, 200 man. pledges... That looks amazing. Those look cool. Those look real cool. Makeship will make this elite cameraman plushie a reality. You only have seven more days to support this uh has it been seven okay it's only been one day okay let's make sure we sign up for the petition y'all uh pledge two dollars today see i'm going to but i can't i can't do that on on camera y'all gonna know my information but make sure y'all go do that bro campaign and if you want one make sure to check it out from the link in the description because it won't be made unless we reach the goal and don't worry if we can't reach the goal the money you pledged will be fully refunded nice anyways it's time to talk about the first crazy be part of the episode. On anything, While the bro. flashback is rolling back, him. we actually see something that slightly makes sense in the glitchy images. And it is clear that there is a camera head looking at the screen, but it's black and white and impossible to understand who or when it is. I don't even know what And the next is. thing we know, the camera aspect ratio changes, and the footage starts looking like a VHS tape, and we see humans... We see a woman setting up yeah, the camera the in a room full of scientists while an announcement says, Attention Group C, please humans, prepare for yo. the experiment. And she says, Dave, look back, while giving a double thumbs up just like camera woman. Yeah, I'm good. While this is going on, the white suit scientist on the left says, Switch it back to normal. And the woman says, All right to Dave. Which continues on with the scientists on the left. Look, saying, he looking back like, yeah, man, you see that muff? Hey, bro. Hey, man. Okay, we are all set. Proceed with phase one, Kathy. And Dave gives a thumbs up, suddenly looking back at the camera, even though he said no at first. And right before they start the experiment, which leads up to the huge blue laser beam firing, Kathy says, opening the gate. Before we talk about the meaning of this scene, watch it once without any interruptions. Bro, we already watched the episode. Well, I gotta watch it again. I watch her walk away again. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's an earthquake back there, man. Before I continue, now what did that did that open up a portal to like interdimensional creatures? You guys see that at the beginning of the tape. Someone actually moved past the camera, and the clothes look very... Oh, clear. my it's God! Really clear, but I think it is very likely that these legs who went past by us are the legs of Lucky Cameraman in his human form. As you guys know, 
A lot of people have been wondering if Yo. the hardware heads were human before the Skibidi toilets started Did taking not over see the that. world, and this scene pretty much confirms it. We know that it's camera woman watching and grieving about plunger cameraman, and she clearly went way back into her memories, or however you want to call it, and this beautiful lady is clearly camera woman. And before we talk about the serious topics, damn bro, she truly has been hiding her guy at all this time. Gaia. <laughs> Holy moly. Anyways, we learned that her name is Kathy, <laughs> Holy and moly. Plunger Cameraman's real name is Dave. At least I assume. Yeah, I was about to say, you gotta assume that might be Plunger. He's a little quirky, spunky, like Black Spider-Man, gave us a thumbs up, like, cool guy. 100% confirmed that Dave is Plunger Cameraman, but I don't see a possibility that it isn't. This also confirms that they all can most likely speak plain English, even as Cameraman, because we saw Titan Cameraman say, yeah. for Plunger, at the end yeah. of the last episode. This does beg the question, though, how did the Titans came to be, forget the Titans, how did these people become hardware heads? Maybe this means that the Titans are actually controlled remotely, or they are just like the scientist toilet controlling these huge robotic bodies from inside. How is it decided who becomes what? Like why Dave and Kathy become a cameraman when some others became toilets and some mm, others became speakers, speakers so yeah. On. I think it's safe to assume that the scientist on the far left might be the mech scientist cameraman we all love and adore. And as I mentioned earlier, there was an announcement at the beginning of the tape and it said, Attention Group C, meaning that Group C maybe is the overall group that group was camera. working on the blue energy, which is the cameraman energy. Yeah. It might be safe to assume that Group A These are and good Group theories. B might have been the other two races with different color energies. Because the blue energy the we see here is clearly the same cameraman energy we know. We don't really know why they are testing this or what exactly they are testing because this might not just be a test where they test the energy, but maybe there is something bigger going on. We also know that this footage is from 1985, which means it's almost six years after the secret agent was hired to the Alpha Hills lab. Yeah. Maybe this place is Alpha Hills lab. Maybe these guys were working together with the secret agent. Maybe it was secret agent who started all this research. Wow. There is an incredible amount of questions we need to be asking. This scene also kind of reminded me of the scene from the first Spider-Verse movie where they were trying to open up the multiverse device. I don't know if that's where Boom is ahead, but it is not impossible considering that he dabbled with the idea of multiple universes in one of his old series called Multiverse of Beatbox. Word. It might be that the secret agent is from another universe, and while trying to go back to his own don't universe... Don't tell me, bro, you know what I'm saying? They finna throw Melo 7 in this, Melo 9. The guys from the other series. Factions. I think Kathy saying opening the gate does support this idea. And even though we have no idea what this gate is, maybe the hardware heads and Skibidi toilets are a virus that came from a different universe. And the secret agent is trying to clean up his mistakes by creating these gates, or maybe he wanted to do this. Mm. We just don't know what's going on. Maybe this experiment was done for a good cause and something completely unrelated, and it just went wrong, leading for it to become the thing that turned them into hardware heads. Or maybe there are still years until they become hardware heads. No matter what happened, or how it happened for some reason, they don't speak yeah. at all in most cases, and communicate without words. Overall, it feels like they are trying to forget their past and their new lives as hardware heads are way different. We also have one more theory that comes up from this scene, which is that okay. the special agents are smarter than the average agents. Mm. It may be the case that the scientists that were working on these projects are the only special agents. And unless you are above oh. a certain IQ level, it is very hard or impossible to become one of the special agents like the plunger cameraman. Okay. According to my interview with Boom a while ago, more characters will be getting introduced soon, so we'll most likely learn more about this as we group go B, on. Group B, Group A. But what type of coincidence is both camera woman and plunger cameraman knowing each other and being scientists before becoming cameraman? There also is the question of why the secret agent wasn't affected by all this. As far as we know, he is the last human remaining at least on the surface. Yeah. There still might be other humans remaining in shelters since, to our knowledge, a skibidi needs to come into contact with a human to turn them into toilets. Maybe that's how the process of becoming a hardware head worked as well. I'll most likely talk more about this topic in a separate video tomorrow, but for now, let's continue on with the rest of the episode because it looks like we are getting ready for another big battle, and yeah. a lot more happened in this episode. 
After the flashbacks, we finally start seeing the real POV and learn that camera woman was watching all this on her tablet. But bro, what is Boom trying to cook? If you look at the tablet number, Blood gave camera woman number 69. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to feel like bro favors camera woman more than my beloved TV woman. He better show us her true. He know the real. Used to be human. He know the real. He know that camera people are really like that, bro. That's the first love. After this, we see that we are in a camera helicopter alongside of other reinforcement cameraman, and everyone starts jumping off to the battlefield to clean up the rest of the base. And camera woman literally snipes helicopter toilets while flying with her upgraded weapons and kicks the toilet we saw on the last leak right before shooting him in the eyes, making him blind. Tough. We also can see that the secret agent is at the same She's place different. as we saw I ain't gonna lie. I gonna stop playing with that girl. Was watching even Karen before like that. Huh. Woman Punch woman. In because while she is flying, we can see him standing there after shooting the toilet on his eyes. Camera woman dodges the toilet's attack. And here on this scene, we can actually see one more thing about the leak that was posted. I mentioned that it said 74, six times on the right side of the leak which was the fortress wall we see behind the toilet, and the text is nowhere to be seen. And I think this clearly indicated that something huge will happen in episode 74. Mm. And even though it seems like we'll be getting a big battle in part two of episode 73, episode 74 will definitely matter more mm -hmm. and will be crazier since Boom is already hyping it up even though it's two episodes Seem like away. it. After well, that's going to be the groundbreaking episode. Pulls out plunger cameraman's last plunger he used and starts using it as if she is him, stabbing the toilet right on his face before throwing two toilet paper nades inside the toilet, exploding it from the inside while flipping him off. She mad for real. She turns to his right instantly to help one of the medic cameraman, but she gives his left hand before seeing that the medic cameraman has lost his left arm, resulting for them changing hands, which also probably made camera woman sad even more since plunger cameraman used to lose a lot of limbs as well. Yeah. I guess we also need to talk about when agents bleed and when not in my analysis tomorrow because it really is a weird topic. We sometimes see them bleed, sometimes they simply just don't. Yeah. It also looks like this medic cameraman has a special tie, so it could meant hat. He becomes a more prominent character after he gets his left arm fixed up with a new upgrade, maybe. And if you look carefully, we can still see the secret agent watching from behind the fire. We yeah. don't know the exact reason why he is here, but it may have to do with the connection plunger cameraman and camera woman had. Maybe they knew the secret agent before they became cameraman. Okay. Maybe they were friends. Who knows? After this, we actually see a bunch of toilets start attacking the reinforcements. So really, squad. plunger, pl plunger woman. I'm, I'm really jacking that. I'm about to just start calling her plunger woman. Ain't no camera woman no more, bro. She's upgraded. But for the first time ever, we see how the camera woman's aimbot ability works from her POV. Yes, yeah, Mac. And she starts cool. targeting everyone with her new upgraded Real cannon. Cool. And it truly is overpowered if she can one shot all these guys just like that. But we don't know if this aimbot ability has a cooldown or not. We also can still see the secret agent standing at the same exact she got place a cannon as if now. nothing happened while the reinforcement well, I feel cameraman like that and camera before. woman are walking towards the fortress, but something really unexpected happens. Suddenly, a laser blast is thrown and a huge mutant toilet flies down, killing both reinforcement cameraman with ease. Bro pulled a Titan cameraman move and crushed a cameraman in his hand. He's so the ugly. Jim Bro mutant toilet is truly something. Jim Bro? Else. I wonder how much he can bench. He has two sharp blades on his arms, and his laser weapons also looks a lot more advanced compared to most of the other toilets and those gloves. It'd be crazy. A lot of these guys pop up just to die. Like, And I wonder what they've done on their way here, or did they just get upgraded just to die? Because that would be tragic. Bro, this guy is so creepy. He slowly walks towards Camera Woman with a huge grin on his face as if he is going to give the special treatment to Camera Woman. But suddenly the toilets see something coming and he instantly flees without even thinking. Even though this mutant toilet looked like he could take on all the reinforcement agents around the area alone. What we saw next probably shocked all of us the first time we saw it. Because when Camera Woman turned around, she saw a crazed scientist toilet arriving at the scene who is supposed to be dead and it's attacking the toilets. He kills both the plane toilets Foul. and starts staring at camera woman Foul. but it doesn't attack and suddenly the tablet gets a notification and we see my beloved TV woman who is so just foul. the perfect specimen and she does that cute you oo pose. Oh my God. Bro, I'm down out. bad anyways. A message to boom here. You showed camera woman's real face. I'm going to be waiting for the TV woman archival footage before the war in my DMs. Thanks. It seems like she is manually controlling the scientist body. When you think about it, 
She can normally control other toilets with her head, but it seems like since this body is not alive but just a robot, she can't do that since it doesn't have a mind on its own. Camera woman gives a thumbs up to TV woman and we see a bunch of container helicopter toilets arriving at the scene, and whatever project scientist toilet was cooking before he died might be really important because G-Man Toilet is the one escorting this project and we saw four containers already, which TV Woman actually shot one of them and the container actually fell down right before G-Man Toilet arrived to the scene. He looks this shocked, is where the bro. first leak's photo has been taken and now I understand why he was shocked and sad. It seems like this is where he learned that his bestie died and his body is being controlled. It truly must be sad for him, especially Crazy. after that kiss they shared in the troll leaks. TV woman attacks G-Man Toilet with the lasers, but it doesn't even do a dent to G-Man Toilet's shield and bro literally rams onto it and uses his lasers to finish off the body so that it won't be used again. I don't think TV woman died inside the body and she will definitely come back. But if you look at G-Man Toilet's face after he shot the scientist Toilet's body, Super he looks like he is really sad and he stops He's to like, make man. sure the chopper Toilets get the container back. But camera woman instantly flies on top of the roof to kill the chopters, but her cannon doesn't do any damage. It looks like it's only good against small toilets and right here yeah. when it seemed like it was all done for camera woman. Someone starts shooting the containers and kills the, the chopper toilets and it's no other than Titan Speaker Man. And the way bro was sitting there as if he is him, and the way he got up with the Valve logo sound looking like a cowboy spinning his arm cannons was so cold. It was. After this, the whole gang slowly shows up, and I literally got chills while this was happening. Titan TV man, as if he comes out of the teleportation smoke, says, There is nowhere to run in reverse. Here okay. you go. Listen to it yourself. <laughs> Hearing this, G-Man Toilet, instead of becoming scared, starts speaking English for the first time, and damn, Fools. Bro's voice was deep as hell. He said, fools, you have no idea what's coming with that deep, majestic voice. Here you go. Listen Yo, to why is he low-key simper? Fools, you have no idea what's coming. Which Titan TV man replies with, whatever is coming, you won't survive to see it in reverse. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. Whatever is coming. After this, even though G-Man Toilet should be pretty scared, he is happy for some reason. There is something shady going on and G-Man might actually cook in part two if he is acting as smart as he did in the last episode. We also know that if Titans wins this battle, the Alliance will have a part of whatever the scientist Toilet was building as his last project. Mm. And with Boom hyping up episode 74 a lot, might be leaks, part of it. I really don't know what to expect. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, it's over? Already? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that was the analysis of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.